came to the public. And after it came to the public, the same sister recently, yeah, my mom went to the Lean Googie show. That made me also go to respond. Mimi, what I need to respond. Mimi, I'm not those people who say, oh, silence is golden. Golden for who? When I want sure. to be heard, I'll say what I want to say. I'll speak my mind. I'll, I'll I feel Edgar is not the same Edgar who used to be very authentic and used to post stories after I make DM Naka confirm what his posting is actually true. So when I feel like he's just posting and you know, like I'm here, the reason so. What's up everybody? Of course, it's your girl Jackie Diva, Nanya Tumbili, TIV, and guys, I'm here of course with Vicky Vikida and guess who? Nas Judy. Hi! None other than me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. You're awesome. looking good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you enjoyed the show like me? Sorry? The show was amazing. Oh, the show? Yeah. Uh, maybe what did you love about the show? Let me tell you, I think Kenyans, you are so talented. I have gone to concerts in America, and if I compare the concerts in America and the concerts here, yeah. we are like 10 over 10 minus nothing. Oh my god. Like, Crazy Kenna is just a one. Like, there was nothing. You know, like, there you have, like, what you loved the sh about the show yeah. and what you didn't like. Yeah. I absolutely have nothing that I didn't like about the show. Sure. I have, like, everything that I... I don't know if you guys captured me like shouting yeah, yeah, on top yeah, of yeah, my call. I have the clip. This show was amazing from uh -huh. the way it was displayed from the word go to mm. the end. We were just shouting and shouting and shouting and enjoying. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, maybe apart from Crazy Kenna, which other content creator, Aliku Nice Pale, you shouted. Vile Niliona Pia wame collaborate with Flaco because he's my other favorite content creator. And then Ikona Wame incorporate BN. Oh my god, that was like icing on the cake. Oh my, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. As the bishop. Oh, I was you tell me the only part that's so salty and good, Kabisa. Like the way they collaborated, Flaco, Kenna, Awinja, like you know the top top people in the country that make us happy. Yeah. You know sometimes you're growing through your depressive faces, yeah. and then you just log in Instagram, and then you come up across the content. Yeah, Awinja, yeah, Kenna, yeah, Flaco, oh, yeah. and then now they collaborated all of them together. Yeah, that was like amazing mm -hmm. actually amazing is understatement what is the other word that you can use people help me <laughs> i don't, <laughs> I don't any, have a word so you far know me, i come from the village Kariandusi, uh -huh. so probably there's a word to describe what the night was like oh, i yeah. enjoyed uh, and apart from that uh nurse judy we know from the title nurse judy we all know that uh there are many kenyans looking for the greener pastures in the u.s mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us how did you get yours and uh, so far i'm a because i know it's not easy it's not easy by the way like my settling in america was not you know by the time you live in kenya you're always expecting by the time you land it's just gonna be soft life from the word go like you land and you start just having your dollars right yeah, away yeah, yeah, sure. that's not the case i have had my struggles my challenges before i got my breakthrough it was not easy i don't know if of course this setup is not the best setup for me to explain what were my like challenges and my struggles that i went through but i can tell you it's not easy but it's worth it oh, at yeah. the end because my breakthrough has been one of the best biggest breakthrough i've ever had in my life like size yani nasema hey mungu papa oh parikio na wendele kuniletea hizo baraka yeah so for how long uh -huh. Sometimes you'll go through the challenges and yeah. you feel like, oh my God, this is not what I expected of America. Mm -hmm. But when you want to come back to Kenya, because oh, yeah. sometimes with the Kenyan backbone when you're going through struggles, is better than when you're in the American and going through struggles. But at the end of the day, once you make it, baby, mm, <laughs> ask me about it. So maybe for how long? Driving. Oh, for how long are you in Kenya? I'm going to be here until the 15th of January. That's it. And the other day we saw on your Instagram stories, you are like, uh, maybe when you're growing up about your boots, you, your mama was like, where did you find it? So many things. <laughs> yeah, have you ever experienced body shaming? Okay, you know in primary sometimes the boys are brutal or the primary girls are brutal. Yeah. So when you have like big booty for them, it was never like the way Instagram make it look like oh, yeah. having a big booty is like a big deal or like it's going to make you make become mechanical or something oh, yeah. when you're in primary and you have a big booty 
it's kind of it's like your fat it's not like they don't see it like the way we see it on instagram oh, yeah. so growing up i feel like they used to make me feel like having a big booty is like your fat because me about less been slim up up upper body slim and lower body thick but for them they never used to see it as a body that is attractive so oh, yeah, they used sure. to make me feel like i'm fat but i wasn't fat i was just a slim thick baby yeah so upon you can find a kid i mean i want to reduce this booty hey you can get instagram my friend you can put a bag out on a pack of cream they open the booty like mine excuse yeah, me it's natural rest it because it's natural and nice and it makes me oh oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, people at times call you socialite, and people are saying mixing, nursing, and social being a socialite is oh, a hard thing. That? Yeah, they say that. Yeah, they say that. Okay, okay. One thing about me, I came to realize, okay, for the comment sections are blogs, utakufa. Yeah. So me, I never read the comments, so I don't know yeah. what people say. Oh, yeah, sure. But if that what they say, for some people. You know, I try to balance. Oh, yeah. For some people, they're following me because of my nursing journey, and they yeah. learn a lot from it. Mm -hmm. For some people, they're following because of my lifestyle of like how I live my life as a nurse in America, or just like a lady in the America. Sometimes, yani kwa mavazi, kwa vile tunaishi maisha yangu mzuri. But sometimes I have my struggles that I show, and sometimes I have my highs that I show. I'm not the person that I wait for my highs that I can show. Me, yeah. I show even my low moments. I show my embarrassing yeah. moments, you know. Yeah. So, when you want to make a mix, I try to balance for everybody because I have a mixed audience. Kuna when you follow because of my nursing journey. Kuna when you want follow because I post my motherhood content. Kuna when you follow because of my love content. Sometimes I follow about I I I I post about love, not to advise people what to do. Because let me tell you. Love does not come with a manual. Our to any advice about love is this content. I couldn't to any and as a kwambia because where we knew when you put your mask pens in don't allow them to work. So even an outsider will never be able to advise you correctly. So me, I just give my journey. If you can pick something from my journey, well and good. But I'll never tell you what to do when it comes to love and relationship. But for me, when it comes to my content, I mix a little bit of nursing, a little bit of lifestyle. Now, my shit to America because people want to see what happens in America and of they love it. it. Yeah, of course, we spoke about motherhood. Maybe how is it being far from your kids and your hubby? Let me tell you, it's hard. Are, and are you planning to bring them there to America? Of course, I'm planning to. Even yet, I'm busy on a funny like it too. It's it's been a uh, a long. A long journey like for me because in Ilifanya adjustment of status it was easy for me to get my green card oh, yeah. within like six months but for them it has taken longer but my kids sometimes especially my daughter kuna time maraka mpaka niko na pitia diary yake mpaka nikali yani kuna wakati anaandika vitu mpaka na shangawa yani this is how she feels being away from the mom yeah, yeah, sure. i don't want to reveal what she wrote on the diary but it made me feel like wow is it even worth being yeah. out there but also, I'm doing them for them. Because oh, yeah. sometimes, yeah, kind of ring. Kind of, my mom is rich. She's always getting me what I want, you know. And I feel poor, like, my evil. Because me, I grew up in poverty. So being able to provide everything that my daughter wants makes me feel good. Oh, yeah. But also being away from my daughter, Pia, in mm -hmm. a Oh yeah. So it's not easy. I just try to balance. Mm -hmm. But like, this coming year, I'm just going to be coming back and forth after every month. Because I make good money. Like every month, I can make like forty thousand dollars. What can wow. make me not from coming? Uh, of course, recently uh, there was a drama in the online, and uh, recently you came out and gave up your side of the story, and people were like, "Oh, Kumbe, it was this way." That uh, they <laughs> they be uh, yummy mommy thing, and people were like, "They, they all, actually they really needed to hear your side of the story." Uka kujanga pale, uka tuelezea. Maybe so far, what's your relationship with her? With who? Yummy mommy, Murugi Because we don't have any relationship. On a door, this is what happened. Like, maybe there's a time like his story really come up. There's a friend of mine who betrayed me. The story came to the public. And after it came to the public, there's a time that so recently, yeah, my mom went to the Lean Boogie show that made me also go to respond. Maybe what I need to respond. Maybe I'm not those people who say, oh, silence is golden. Golden for who? When I want to be heard, I'll say what I want to say. I'll speak my mind. I'll, I'll live my life. The realist and unapologetically and i'll say what i want to say whether you don't like it or you don't like i don't care but oh, yeah. i'll tell my side of the story because oh, yeah, sure. after i tell my side of the story it makes me feel like that satisfaction sure. whether you understand it or not now that's not my problem but what i say is what i say and that's what it was 
So after I learned that you are not a lingo, I was felt like, oh, this woman is bullshitting. So I was like, oh, so I see Munga Eve at took a funny show, and she asked me that question. Of course, I wasn't gonna hide about anything, but she asked me about it. I told about my story, so yeah, whatever I said, that was it. Maybe in the future, would you guys consider, you know, to, to solve all this stuff? Have you considered maybe talking to each other? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think that's something she would consider on myself because it's not even something we think about because. In the public, Munapenda ku obsess about it. Because yeah. even the times I respond is the time that public brings about it. See, I think even a free day and night. Oh, no, I don't. I don't even follow her content. Content yake na yona sazingine when it comes up the blog. But for some reason, people usually feel like Niki post, Niki repost a, like a quote. Maybe na follow mtu mwenye na follow and then I may repost from her page. Unapata maybe I may repost. Namini kaona and then something I like. It repost, and then people start making it about me and her. So it's not like we are obsessed with. I don't think she follows me under the. Okay, she's known for creating pseudos, but I don't have a pseudo myself. So I don't follow her anywhere. Content yake na yona sazina iki come up kwa blog, and I don't even dwell in it. Na yona tu kwa. Oh, okay, she was posted for this, and I just swipe, and that's it. Maybe as you end up speak to your Kenyan fans. Mm -hmm. About what? Fans, uh, how do you feel about uh, bloggers posting, especially at the Vare? Edgar, man. What are you At some point, mm -hmm. I used to like Edgar. Oh, yeah. But this uh, Edgar is here, and I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm true. Yeah, like sure. the recent story that they wrote, it wasn't true. And actually, that's a point where I unfollowed them because I used to follow them. I used oh, yeah. to like their stories. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to feel Edgar is not the same Edgar. Yeah. Who used to be very authentic and used to post stories after I make DM Naka confirm what his posting is actually true. So when I feel like he's just posting and you know, like I'm here the reason story, me so like affecting a negative one. Yeah, and it wasn't true because it was my roommate, but it's so believable. And until now there are people who feel like it's true. So now you in a reputation, it's not a good thing. Yeah. So, I feel like Edgar is not the same one who used to post things and yeah, already put on a receipt and if it's true, because the, like the story they posted wasn't true. So, I feel, you know what, I'm done with this toxicity, I can unfollow, I can mute, and I don't like even people forwarding me those stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah speak to your lovers who are Kenya. When I'm I obviously love you back. Sometimes I'm kind of feel like, oh, I feel down, but I'm kind of part of the and I feel like you're lifting my soul literally with your dms with the love because of course you're not always gonna get love from a hundred percent people but you're gonna get like sometimes i feel like i get 60 percent love from the people yeah. and that is enough for me because even the hate is good it propels it helps me to propel forward so yeah. i don't mind the haters uh, thank you so much for your time of course enjoy your stay in kenya yeah, yeah till next time guys bye bye thank you <laughs>